Hi, my name is Matt Cardozo with MDC Computer Solutions, and today we're going to show you how to replace a hard drive in a Dell Optiplex 755. Um, the tools you're going to need are a, a Phillips screwdriver, um, your new hard drive, and um, your hands. Um, first thing you want to do is remove the power cable so you don't cause a short in the computer while you're doing this. Then to remove the case on the top of the computer there's a, a knob that you pull that will pop the side of the case up and then you can pull that over pull that off. Okay once we have the computer case opened, you'll see the CD-ROM or DVD, and then you'll see a blue switch. You're going to pull that up, and that releases the lever that allows you to take off the CD-ROM, which you slide back and remove. This will have cables in, um, say the cable and a power cable, which you can remove. Um, your computer may or may not have a floppy um, frame, uh, the, the metal piece in here which you'll notice on top of the hard drive and to remove that you pull that same lever up and you slide, you slide the metal piece back and remove that. Can we do it one more time? Sure. Pull the lever up and slide the floppy frame straight back. That comes straight up. Now you can access your hard drive, which we've already removed the screws. Um, we'll show you later. And the cables, you can see, are already still plugged in to the old one. Okay, at this point, um, you're going to uh, pull on those two clips on each side of the hard drive and slide, it's easiest if you put your your one hand on the two clips and your your two fingers on the hard drive and towards the front of the case and slide it backwards now you need to lift it up vertically straight up and at that point you can unplug your cables the power and the SATA cable. And you'll see the, the two screws on each side of the, the hard drive case here, the, the blue part. And we already took them out in this case so it wouldn't take as long. Once you remove those four screws, you can plug the new hard drive in there and screw that in. While she's doing that, a little bit about hard drives. Um, you want to make sure that you get the proper kind of hard drive. So you you can either um, you know go to the Dell site and see what kind of hard drive you have, or you can take it out ahead of time and bring it to the store with you. Um, there aren't too many different kinds. Um, there's SATA and you know older um, EIDE hard drives. Are the, are the main uh, differences and usually you can get one or the other um, you, want, you just want to make sure you don't get a, a laptop hard drive which is much smaller Cat wants to see what we're doing. Hi, Sadie. Okay, 
Okay, once the screws are in, you're going to plug the cables back in. It's harder to plug the cables in after you've reseated the hard drive because unless you have tiny fingers to get in there. Um, so you're going to go ahead and plug the power cable in. And then the SATA cable. Then you're going to line the four screw head spots up with the um, with the metal case and slide it down the same way as before. And then you're just going to slide it towards the front of the computer and it'll clip in to that spot. Now you can put the floppy drive frame back on there. Same way, just slide it towards the front of the computer. And the CD-ROM right on top of that. And push this forward too. And that pushes forward just like the other ones. And then you can plug your cables in and, and you put the outside of the case back on. And um, just want to thank you for watching my video and have a good day. Take care. Bye.